Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you guys saw last week on the truck, we replaced the motor mounts with some polyurethane mounts. Well, this week, we'll be replacing another mount with polyurethane. Usually, you don't want to mix rubber and polyurethane, so if you replace one, you kind of want to replace them all. So, as you guys can see in my hand, I have a energy suspension mount. It does have a number cast in it, 1117. I believe that's just going to be for the polyurethane part. But the energy suspension number is 31129G. If you guys want a red mount, it would be 31129R. Now, I don't think there's going to be a price difference between the red and black, but, you know, our engine mounts are black, so we went with black on the trans mount as well. And kind of like I was saying, you don't want to mix rubber and poly. You kind of want to go full rubber or full poly. And since we've already replaced the engine mounts, we want to replace the last mount with this polyurethane mount. So, uh, this install should be pretty simple. You know, you're going to have your part going to the frame so that's that part that will connect to the transmission crossover and this will connect to the transmission itself it's four bolts hopefully it isn't too difficult pretty much the only thing you got to do is get underneath the truck jack the transmission up we're going to use some boards and jack it up by the bell housing i have seen people use the transmission pan but honestly i don't really want to put any i don't risk anything on the pan so we'll jack it up by the bell housing, like I was saying. We'll get under there and get this in. Uh, you know, my truck's got almost 250,000 miles on it. Not that I'm expecting the transmission mount to be bad, but the motor mounts were bad. But I figure since we're in there, we might as well go ahead and replace this mount as well. This mount was, I think, $62 or $65 shipped. Something like that. So it's not that expensive of a mount. And uh, if you guys look on Amazon and other places with reviews, they will say this does not fit the Allison, but this does fit. I've seen multiple people, multiple vendors all selling it. I believe this is meant for like a 4L80 or something like that in the 2500 trucks, but uh, this will fit. And one last thing before we do go ahead and get started, you will see there is a top bracket here. You will want to include that. That is not a spacer. That is actually part of the mount. It does sandwich the polyurethane into the metal frame. So yes, you will want to use the spacer. I've seen people, I was reading comments and I saw people like, oh, you don't need that. Other people say you do need that. So we're going to go ahead and use it. So let's go get the truck pulled around. We'll get under it and uh, go ahead and get started on the install. All right, guys, to so go ahead and get started, there's actually the transmission mounts are in these holes here and here. You're going to stick a socket and extension up the holes. They are 15 millimeter and you want to take that off that way you can jack the transmission up. Then you'll be able to pull the transmission out from the back. All right guys, you should be able to see that the transmission mount is almost out. Well, actually it is out now. But if you guys can see on the transmission itself, there's a bolt here. There's a bolt back here behind this. I think it's some kind of shift accumulator or something like that, but so there's bolts on both sides. Take that out. I did use a breaker bar on that because those bolts seem to be uh, not loctited in, but you know, they were a little difficult to get out, so I did use a breaker bar on it. I'm actually going to grab the new mount and actually torque it while it's up in here when the transmission itself is, you know, closer to the cross member here. You don't really have enough room to get a torque wrench in there, so I think we go ahead and install it and get it torqued now. All right, guys, you'll see the new mount is in there. Obviously, it's not torqued yet, but just wanted to show you that, you know, you're going to have more room trying to get those bolts in and out with the transmission still jacked up so now that we've got the bolt started we're going to torque these down to 36 foot pounds and eventually when we finish up we'll drop the transmission down we're going to torque these bottom ones to 30 foot pounds so let's go ahead get these tightened up like i said 36 foot pounds all right guys well that's pretty much gonna be the finished product i did end up getting the bolts through the hole i think you can see that one right there and maybe that one right there those bolts from energy suspension do come with a locking washer as well as a regular washer. So it goes the big washer, the locking washer, and then the bolt. Suck that through the hole, tighten that down. So I torque, so I torque those bolts, like I said, to 30 foot pounds. This torque down to 36 foot pounds. And that's pretty much it. We uh, <laughs> have finished up this install. So this went a lot quicker than I thought it was going to. All right guys, so that's pretty much gonna be it for that transmission mount. So I did not expect that to go that quickly. I expected it to go longer. But I will say this, this install was real quick. 
but I will give you two pieces of advice. One, when the transmission is jacked up in the air and you're removing the old one, go ahead and install the new one and then torque it to the transmission because when you get that back down, you lose all kinds of workroom. So with the jacked up in the air, two, maybe three inches, whatever it is, you're able to get a torque wrench in there, torque those two down to 36 or 37 foot pounds, I think it was 36, and you should be good to go. And the second piece of advice that I have is the bolt that came with the energy suspension, those are actually 14 millimeters, so make sure you go ahead and grab 14 millimeter socket, because I had to get back under the truck, take the bolt with me, find out what bolt size it was, and then go back under the truck and all that. So take the 14 and a 15, both short and deep well sockets, and that should pretty much cover everything that you're gonna need. I didn't use any, I just used a couple extensions. I didn't use anything really exotic or anything, just a torque wrench. So that's pretty much gonna be about it. So this is specifically for the Allison install, but I believe that's gonna be the same out for the 4L60, the 4L80, and uh, any of the other bigger transmissions that are on the GMT 800 platform. So like I said, 36, 30 foot pounds on those, uh, 14, 15 millimeter socket, torque wrench, and a floor jack. That's pretty much all you're gonna need. So. So that's actually it for today's video. I was out here for like, I don't know, maybe about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour. A lot of that was messing around with the camera, get that set up, talk to you guys and all that. Probably could knock this out in 30 to 45 minutes. Not that long of a install. So if you guys like this video, hit that like button. If you guys want to see more truck content, hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications. And if you guys want to help support the channel, I'll have some links down below for the mount itself. Those will be down below. And make sure you check out our website, bonecrusherss.com. Thanks guys, have a great one.